Song Haikyo and her 10-year-long love interest are still as they were back then. Fans of the main couple from that winter, the Windblow still hope that Song Haikyo and Jo In Sung should find real-life happiness together. Actress Song Haikyo was rumored to have fallen in love with a man her age. In 2013, Song Haikyo had the opportunity to star alongside Jo In Sung in the work that winter, The Wind Blows. The perfect chemistry between the two created a special impression on the audience. It was because of their exceptional on-screen chemistry that rumors of a real-life romantic relationship between Song Haikyo and Jo In Sung began to circulate. At the time, there was information indicating that Song Haikyo had actively invited Jo In Sung to have a meal together, but for some reason, he declined. Some media outlets speculated that the actress of Full House had unrequited feelings for her colleague of the same age. However, Jo In Sung did not reciprocate her feelings. The 13th of February marks the 10-year anniversary of the airing of the drama that winter, The Wind Blows. The series, starring Song Haikyo and Jo In Sung in the leading roles, had garnered deep affection from the audience. The story revolves around individuals deeply scarred who strive to rediscover the true meaning of love. In reality, Song Haikyo was caught up in numerous romantic rumors with Jo In Sung after the release of the aforementioned project. There were rumors suggesting that the former wife of Song Joon Ki had unrequited feelings for her handsome co-star. She even reportedly took the initiative to invite Jo In Sung to dinner. However, in Sung straightforwardly declined Song Hai Kyo's invitation without much hesitation. At the time, Jo In Sung stated that he and Song Hai Kyo simply maintained a friendship. Song Hai Kyo also denied the rumors of inviting Jo In Sung to dinner. Until now, these two stars continue to support each other in their careers. Song Hai Kyo happily promoted Jo In Sung's new film on her Instagram page. Due to this, Fervent fans of the duo have consistently rooted for them. They hope that Song Haikyo and Jo In Sung might date in real life since both are currently single. In terms of personal lives, Song Haikyo has been divorced from Song Joon Ki for over three years, while Jo In Sung remains unattached following his past relationship with Kim and Hee. At the age of 42, Jo In Sung is renowned as one of the most famous and sought after actors in South Korea. Jo In Sung returned to the screen with the work moving. He is making waves by starring alongside the female lead Han Hyo Ju. Prior to this, Jo In Sung was previously rumored to have secretly dated Song Hai Kyo while collaborating on that winter, The Wind Blows. Career Progression Jo In Sung was born in 1981 in Gangdong District, Seoul, South Korea. At the age of 17, he entered the entertainment industry as a model for a clothing brand. Jo In Sung studied at Chunnam University with a major in modeling and human resource management. Later, he enrolled in the theater and film department at Dongguk University. However, in 2007, he was forced to drop out due to insufficient class attendance. Jo In Sung debuted as an actor in 1999 in the television drama Jump. In 2000, he took on the lead role of Kim Suk Joo in the school drama School 3 and received the Outstanding Young Actor Award. In the same year, he appeared in the project Non-Stop 2, and this time, Jo In Sung again received an acting award. Continuing to rise, Jo In Sung gained popularity with the audience through a supporting role in the television drama Piano, appearing alongside actors Go Su and Kim Han Yul. This role brought Jo In Sung the new star award and high public recognition. In the following years, Jo In Sung took on numerous major film projects. In 2003, Jo In Sung participated in three romantic films simultaneously, Madeline, The Classic, and Love of South and North. In 2004, he returned to television in the romantic drama Something Happened in Bali, alongside Ha Ji Won and So Ji Sub. The unexpected success of the drama elevated Jo In Sung's reputation to a continental level. In 2008, the male actor joined the historical drama The Kingdom of the Winds with actress Song Ji Hyo. The steamy scenes between the two stars in the drama became a topic of discussion for a long time. As his career was on the rise, Jo In Sung enlisted in the Air Defense and Air Force Combat Command for 25 months of military service. In 2013, Jo In Sung made a comeback to the screen with the romantic drama that winter, The Wind Blows, 
starring alongside the leading lady Song Hai Kyo. With a unique storyline and the tender chemistry between the two lead actors, the drama became a sensation across Asia. His most recent work is Moving, a pairing with Han Hyo Ju, which has gained significant attention. The harmonious performances of the on-screen couple have led the audience to actively support them, regardless of differing opinions surrounding certain slow-paced episodes or the fact that, despite being an action superhero genre, action scenes are not frequent. Complicated love life. Despite his successful career, Jo In Sung's romantic life has been rather tumultuous. In April 2013, Jo In Sung publicly announced that he was dating actress Kim Min Hee. At the time, their relationship faced considerable public opposition. Audiences believe that Jo In Sung, possessing good looks, a successful career, and a clean personal life, was not compatible with Kim Min Hee who had been involved in numerous romantic scandals. However, 18 months later, the couple announced their separation. After the fleeting romance with Kim and he, Jo In Sung was linked to various romantic rumors with co-stars such as Gong Hyo Jin and Go Hyun Jung. Notably, for a considerable period, Jo In Sung was rumored to be the third party in the relationship between Hyun Bin and Song Hai Kyo. After their collaboration in that winter, the wind blows in 2013, the male lead frequently expressed praise for his co-star. Some information even asserted that Song Hai Kyo had one-sided feelings for Jo In Sung, going so far as to invite him to dinner, which he declined. In 2014, a year after their joint project concluded, Korean netizens even spread a photo of Song Hai Kyo visiting the set of It's OK, That's Love to See Jo In Sung. Jo In Sung has always remained silent in the face of such rumors. In conclusion, the 10-year anniversary of the drama that winter, The Wind Blow serves as a nostalgic reminder of the captivating on-screen chemistry between Song Hai Kyo and Jo In Sung. The series, which delved into the profound struggles of individuals seeking to mend their deeply wounded hearts and rediscover the essence of love, left an indelible mark on the hearts of its viewers. Behind the scenes, the rumors surrounding Song Hai Kyo and Jo In Sung's off-screen relationship have added an intriguing layer to their already celebrated partnership. While these rumors have sparked speculations and discussions, both actors have maintained a friendly and professional demeanor, collaborating on various projects and showing support for each other's endeavors. As fervent fans continue to root for the possibility of a real-life romance between the two stars, it's important to acknowledge that their personal lives remain separate from their public personas. Both Song Hai Kyo and Jo In Sung have navigated their individual paths in the entertainment industry, overcoming challenges and celebrating successes. The enduring appeal of this on-screen pairing, coupled with the ongoing support they show for each other, stands as a testament to the impact they have made on their audiences and the entertainment industry as a whole. While the hope of a real-life romance may persist, their existing friendship and professional camaraderie remain a heartwarming aspect of their journey. Ultimately, the legacy of that winter, The Wind Blows lives on, reminding us of the captivating magic that can be woven between two talented actors on both the screen and in our hearts.